The hope is that one day a screening test for Alzheimer's disease could be delivered as part of routine eye tests. Alzheimer's is the most common form of dementia and uh, it affects around about 35 million people worldwide. About 5% of 65 year olds uh, will have Alzheimer's disease and by the time you get to 85 years old uh, it's about 50% chance. Basically it's a form of accelerated ageing so people will suffer from changes to their cognitive ability, in particular they'll experience memory loss. In terms of research at the moment, we do have tools in terms of uh, brain scans. The drawbacks they have are that they involve radioactive materials being injected into the body. They're expensive and there's not too many scanners available. The goal is to have a test that can detect Alzheimer's 17 years early. So what we're working on here is an eye test for early detection of Alzheimer's. And in particular, we're looking for the exact same pathology in the back of the eye. It's a place called the retina in the back of the eye. Uh, the same pathology that's occurring in the brain in, in Alzheimer's disease. And that's a plaque, an aggregation of a certain protein called beta, beta amyloid. If what we see in the eye test correlates with what we see in the brain scans, then we'll have the makings of an early test for Alzheimer's disease. This is a simple test which is non-invasive and you can take just like a photo, taking a photo but it can make a big difference to a lot of people. I'm really excited about Sean's work because uh, we are the first one in the world to uh, show that uh, there is a relationship between retina and Alzheimer's disease. We do research in other areas like Alzheimer's and early detection of stroke. We use the eye as the window to the body to detect all these diseases. So the retina at the back of the eye is really a window into the brain. So the question we're asking is whether there's plaques in the retina and Alzheimer's disease just like the plaques that occur in the brain. It's non-invasive, we just have to uh, put some eye drops in at this stage and take some pictures of the back of the eye. It can be done um, potentially as part of routine eye testing at op optometrists. We're working with a number of partners on this, namely the McCusker Foundation here where we uh, work with a research cohort called uh, the ABLE cohort and also a company in the US called Neurovision who have developed the eye test itself. The importance of CSIRO doing this work in, uh, in Western Australia is purely to support research around early detection of uh, systemic diseases like Alzheimer's and stroke. So this will help millions of people around the world, not only in Australia, but also around the world. I couldn't believe that this is a simple non-invasive test uh, which, have, which has not been done or looked into before. Ideally, we'd have a, a prevention or a cure for Alzheimer's disease. But even if we can just delay the disease by five or 10 years, that would make a huge impact on the prevalence of the disease. And a lot of people who would otherwise have that disease will live into their old age without, without being affected by it.